Hi guys, Reed here. In this video we're going to be showing you how to use Solver to solve an optimization problem. Now Solver is a feature that comes built in with Excel 2016 in both Mac and PC. Um, in this instance I'm going to be using a PC but it'd be the same on a Mac. So what we're going to do is initially look at our data. So we have 10 villages that need a certain amount of water each and three distribution centers with a certain amount of water available. And the reason we can't just divide up the water is because we have a cost problem. Um, to deliver one gallon of water one mile, it costs uh, one dollar. So if we were to deliver one gallon of water from distribution center Alpha to Leogon, it would cost us eight dollars, and so on and so forth. So we'll use Solver to help us figure out the cheapest way to deliver this water. The first thing we're going to do is copy this distance to village table and paste it down here. And we have a merge cell, so we'll get rid of that. And then copy and paste again. And we're going to rename our table gallons of water delivered. And we'll get rid of all these values in here. I'm now going to change this area to yellow so that way we know that something solver is going to be working on for us. The next thing we have to do is sum up across our table. So we'll select all these values using the sum function, close parentheses, and do the same thing for other two distribution centers. So what this ends up being is how much water is coming from distribution center alpha. And then we'll do the same thing for our towns. The next thing we have to do is set up a field to optimize. So this is going to be fuel cost, and we want to minimize it. I always write that here so I remember what I'm doing. Now, in general, you're going to want to be minimizing cost and maximizing profit. And the way we're going to figure out what our fuel cost is going to be is we're going to use the sum product function of Excel. And what sum product does is it will do E4 times E21 plus F4 times F21 and so on and so forth and it makes it much easier because all you're going to have to do is select your first array, put a comma in, and then select your second array. So at this point we are all set up to go into Solver. So we can go into Data and click on Solver. Now, Solver wants to know what our objective is, and our objective function is going to be that sum product field we just set up. So we'll cl click on that and um, press the down arrow, and we want to minimize it. The variable cells we're going to be changing are our yellow array. And now Solver's going to want us to add constraints. So our constraints are going to be we want to deliver less than or equal to the amount of water available at a distribution center and we want to at least give each village enough water that they need. So we're going to be using different functions for both. So for our distribution centers we want this to be less than or equal to alpha and we'll do the same thing for bravo and delta. Now for our villages, we want to give them at least as much water as they need, so we'll be using the greater than or equal to function. So we'll click on one of our sums, switch to greater than or equal to, and then go for that town. Now we're going to do the same thing for each of our towns. And just be careful because Solver automatically goes back to less than or equal to, so if you're not paying attention, you could mess that up and um, get a f odd or wrong result on the exam. And for these, just be careful going through. Make sure that you are correctly pairing up your towns to their uh, needs. It's kind of easy to mess that one up. I've done it more than once prepping for this video, so uh, just make a note of it as you're going through.
And just one thing to note, if, um, it's better to double add one than not add it at all. Uh, it won't mess up your equation if you add a town twice, um, but it's better to do it correctly, obviously. Um, after that, we're going to add two additional constraints. The first one is to make sure that these are all integers. And for this class, that's um, going to be the answer uh, all the time. Always do add this uh, constraint. Um, in real life and business, it may be different. So we'll say add that integer constraint. And the last thing we want to do is make sure that these are all positive values. And so the way we do that is greater than or equal to 0. OK, so now that we have all of those added, we'll click Cancel, because we don't want to add any more. And then we can double check our work. So I usually run through and make sure that everything it's numerical. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I notice we have one mistake here. So we have B7 twice and K24 twice. So let's just make sure that we're doing it correctly. So K J24 is cap Haitian, and B7 is cap Haitian. So we can delete the K24 B7. OK, and now we made one last mistake. Um, we have B9. Er, oh, we have this in here twice, which is fine. OK, so that should be all set now. And the final thing we're going to do is use the simplex LP solver method. The reason for this is this will find a single uh, solution. And for management 499 at Bono's, you always want to do that. So now we can say solve. And Excel is now running through thousands of calculations to get the right answer for us and minimize the cost. Excel comes up and tells us it's found a solution and all constraints and optimal conditions are satisfied. That's what we're looking for. If it says solver has found a solution, all constraints are not optimized, something's gone wrong. So we can say OK. And we can expand our field to see our answer. So the answer for this question would be it cost $2,749,000 to deliver water at a minimum. And then if we were asking, how much water is going from Alpha to Leogon, you would look at our yellow table down here. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call or text. Good luck studying.